Hey everybody, we're the Jacksons from the Jackson FI and we just bought a 70s time capsule house. So a few years ago, we were both teachers and we felt like we wanted to just live life a little bit differently. All in an effort to spend our young life, our young years with our children growing up with them instead of working for 40 years and barely being able to see our children. As part of that, we decided to look for new ways to add additional income streams. And when we saw this house go viral, we knew we had to go for it. All right, so we just got here to the house. Uh, we're here in Fort Wayne. We uh, bought this house about two weeks ago or so. Yeah. Um, we haven't been inside it. We actually bought this house like sight unseen. Uh, we yep. had pictures and we had a realtor help us, but we have never seen this house before. We've so. never been inside. Yeah, we, we just we, closed two hours ago. <laughs> we just closed, <laughs> just got the keys. Um, we drove straight from Orlando, Florida, where it's mm -hmm. nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, we finished an 18 hour drive, slept for a little bit, and now we're here. Now so we're here. We're gonna go in and check out the house and hopefully it's, it's all in one piece <laughs> and we'll see what we get. Are you ready? So a few weeks ago, our story sort of went like this. I was uh, laying in bed, sitting on Facebook, as many of us often do, mm -hmm. and I saw this crazy purple house kind of go viral. Uh, I saw it on a bunch of different Facebook groups, uh, probably in like 10 different places yeah. at least. Uh, I just saw it all over the internet. And at first it caught my eye because obviously it's super cool. Um, then I started looking at it and I saw, well, hey, that's sort of within our budget. Now we weren't thinking about buying another house, mm -hmm. but it was within our budget and it was super cool. So I kept looking at it, then I noticed that it was in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, again, at this time, we were living in nice, sunny, bright, warm Orlando, Florida, and this was December, so we definitely liked where we were. But Fort Wayne is where I grew up. It's, I have a lot of family here, we have a lot of friends here, all of our extended relatives all live up here in Indiana. I brought my computer over to Alicia and, and I basically said, okay, don't shoot this down immediately. You can tell me no, but give this a fair shake. What do you think about us looking at this house and maybe putting an offer on it? Now, I'm definitely the skeptical one, but when he showed me this house, I saw the architecture and I saw the potential as well. And to his surprise, I said yes pretty quickly. <laughs> Look at so this ready? door handle. <laughs> this is like the size of a head. <laughs> It's so purple. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's wow. let's explore, baby. Let's look around. I immediately emailed and called as many people as I could to try to get a showing for Sunday morning. Now, again, we're in Orlando, so a showing was us just doing a Zoom call with a realtor. So we got a realtor to agree to do a Zoom tour of the house Monday morning. I believe it was like 10 a.m. So this is. What, like 12 hours mm -hmm. after we saw the house, yeah, my, we got someone to show it. By Monday morning, we had seen the house over Zoom. She took us on a tour, told us the good, bad, and the ugly. And on Sunday, right after the Zoom tour, we put in an offer immediately. This is so retro. What is this? Look at that. I think it's a trash compactor. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Do you like it? Now there were tons of other offers. I think there was like a hundred people here seeing the house at the showing at the open house alone. The house itself had hundreds of thousands of views. So we really didn't think that we would get it, but we had just a good gut feeling about the home. So we decided to go for it, put an offer and to our shock and surprise on Monday morning, we found out it was accepted. This is All right, no buyers way more. cooler than I was expecting. No buyers more. I expected it to be cool. This is, this is way cooler. So it was accepted Monday morning, if you're following this timeline. We closed on the house about two and a half weeks later, and it was important to us to get into the house as soon as possible. So this is mid-December, right before Christmas. In two and a half weeks, we completely packed up our entire lives, our two toddlers, our dog, most of the stuff that we own, and came up here to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, hold on to the rail. Be very careful. 
man, this staircase is cool, but super dangerous with little kids. <laughs> now, there are plenty of things that were not yeah. wonderful about this house, right. and we are still finding those, but all of those things were expected by us. Oh, how cute! It is shockingly not nasty in here. It's, yeah, it's super clean. I don't know how. <laughs> doesn't smell, yeah, doesn't look bad. <laughs> So for those of you guys who have been following us um, on Instagram and other social media, we get all these questions um, that we wanted to sort of put a lot of those answers out on the table. So first is, why did you guys buy this house? Besides for the obvious, like the staircase, the purple, the fireplace, all of that stuff, besides for all of that, it works really well with our financial plan right. going towards fire. We wanted to have our, our assets held in something that was appreciating. Instead of just having money in the bank, we wanted to keep our money in uh, real estate and things that would gain value over time. A little corner back here, just hang out. You know, if you're feeling shy. <laughs> Look at the corner. That's probably. That's an awesome. That's an awesome yard. To play yeah, in. we'll just have to like clear out some of the trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. The smaller Get some of the shrubs. Out. The smaller shrubs, yeah. Another big part of this being a really good purchase for us is that we've always wanted to create content about becoming financially independent and retiring early. And this house was just a perfect segue to that. So shortly after we purchased the home, we decided to do a 70s photo shoot and that went just as viral as the house. Yeah, our photographer did a fantastic job. I mean, just everything about it worked out perfectly. It's, we, <laughs> we didn't really expect mm -hmm. to be like interviewed by news channels and all of that stuff, but it's been a wild ride, definitely. Yes, we have a really great community on Instagram. It grew really quickly, went from about 200 followers to over 30,000 followers in about two weeks. <laughs> now we have brands contacting us and we have some really great interviews coming up. So we're really fortunate and we're just so thankful that people are following along with us. Yes. Whoa. Uh, this is exactly what I was hoping it was in the pictures. Huh. I love this. Yeah. And like the carving on the yes. outside of that. That's Beautiful. super cool. So probably the biggest question we get is what are your plans for the house? Are you keeping the shag? What are you keeping? What's going? So our plan is to keep the 70s vibe and 70s character while still making some really needed updates. We are, just to answer the big question, we are getting rid of the shag. It's 50 years old um, and we're gonna make it a little bit more fr family friendly. Um, we are gonna update the kitchen but keeping original cabinets. So we're doing a lot of things like that where we're doing some updating but trying to keep as many of the original features as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, you guys see this. It's not very loud. <laughs> so all of our updates, I mean, giving this house a facelift and everything, everything is being done with the intent of just continuing to love this house just as much as its previous owners, the Sherbundis, did. That's been really important to us. Mm -hmm. And we're documenting the whole journey so people can follow along. If you want to follow us, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below with your thoughts. Check us out on Instagram, the Jackson FI. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're documenting the whole thing and, and we're sort of pulling back the curtain so you guys can see the process, see the renovation process, see the money process, what, what we bought it for, how much we're putting into this place, all of that stuff. We're just, we just wanna have transparency with sort of our plan and everything to show you guys how you can also live differently and earn differently and save differently. Right. But this fireplace, we're keeping the shape, we're keeping oh, everything, because yeah. this it's just beautiful. That's such like the centerpiece of the room. Yeah, we'll soften the texture a little bit, but we really want to keep as much as the fireplace as we can, how it is. Yeah. Wow, I, I am really in love with this backyard. Yeah, this is way cooler than I was expecting. Yeah, I really am. This is like the dream backyard for me. Uh -huh. Like the trees and the creek. So that's us, we're the Jacksons. Thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in future videos and on our Instagram, the Jackson Five.